Yes, this is probably where the castle is. I mean, the only structure appears to be on this bloody island. Uh, let's head up there, then. What's that? Ooh, it's freezing out there. You're right, mate. Right, so, uh, you know whereabouts my room is? Uh, no. Oh, okay. This main hallway. Ooh, this is a fancy dual arena. Ooh, very fancy. Probably a different way out. Back there. Oh, who's this? Probably shouldn't talk to him. A staircase, okay. There's a room over here. Let's see whose room this is. This is Tom Jeffrey. That's not my name. Uh, who's this one over here? Hanzanite and Hyro. Neither of those are my name either. Yeah. Oh, this is where the other deck is. Okay. This is Robert Lafayette. Nope. RV Dracon. Here we go. Ah. What do you mean you don't have anything in stock today? Let's see. Is the rain stop yet? Yeah. Uh, are you kidding me? Nope. Stop. Uh. Right, Come on, man. Oh, no. I want to check getting cards for such a limited Oh, that will this bloke's name. Yeah. Don't suppose you have any of my cards, do I, I run True King? No? Yeah, I kind of figured. Yeah. Um. So, uh, where are you? Oh, nice to meet you, mate. I'm Harvey Dracon. What about yourself? Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Seth Maximilian Pegasus. Oh, so you're the old bloke's son? Or... No, I'm his grandson. Ah, yeah, no, he is a little... yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I guess thanks for having us in this massive ass uh, castle. I mean, yeah, I did live here for quite a while, so. Yeah, no so problem. Are you just like living here, or are you actually a part of Oh, no, I'm actually a part of the tournament. Okay, okay. Well, it's always good to meet someone else in the tournament. I think you're the first person in that. We might be the first still here in all honesty, but... Yeah, how did you get here? Oh, me? I took the boat. Oh, I came here in a desk here. That would make sense. You are the son of Maximilian Pegasus. A grandson. Grandson. Yeah, <laughs> it, it gets very confusing for a lot of people. I mean, your name is Seth Million Pegasus, so... Yeah... Well, uh... This is a, uh... Saw the, yeah. You saw the dual field? Oh yeah, I saw the dual field. Pretty nice. Yeah. You'll have to use it, or do we have to wait for the like, final one? You probably have to wait for Knowing grabs, he's probably the finals. Oh, hopefully both of us make it to the finals, you know? Yeah, probably. Uh... Hey, what was that, then? Oh, no, it's just my card. Oh. Um... Uh, interesting to add together. I don't really yeah. have anything too interesting on me. This is my diagram. Pretty strong card to be honest. I have uh, my cool amazing uh, Alphonse. Pretty interesting card. Yes, that looks pretty interesting to be honest. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, can definitely yeah, tell you're in power well. range though. Yeah, we'll give it away the shirt. Uh, it just looks sad, you know? Yeah, uh, these cards don't really exist to say. Scraps kind of made them for me. Well, I mean, yeah, I'd assume so. Like, yeah. No one's ever heard of Super Pawn, so. And not many people have heard of True Dracos. Yeah. You still have something in common. They have Rodex. At least, my cards aren't release of a bubbler. 
Yeah, yeah. mine blood is just very healed and really important because a little too powerful for most people. You, you don't want to know how my cards are made. I mean, I'll assume they were made in the printing press. Mm, yeah, I, I'm talking about like the way I asked for them to be made. Ah. You like thick guys and you can't know why. No, I told... Hey, Gramps, uh, this show looks pretty cool. Can you make some cards out of it? Yeah. I was a kid, by the way. Is that how, like, half the archetypes were made? Yeah. Oh, great. That would explain a lot, yeah. you know. Yep. Uh, Man, it is thunder like crazy out there. Yeah. I mean, hopefully it stops soon. It's you know when the... We're gonna... The rules are gonna be announced? Uh, probably. Um... Probably like in around like a couple of minutes, probably an hour. Someone to wait an hour. Okay, okay. So probably gonna wait for the rain to stop back, I guess. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, let's just wait here and see if anyone else shows up. Greetings, my esteemed duelists. Welcome to the illustrious duelist kingdom. You find yourselves here, either renowned for your dueling prowess, or hailed as true professionals. Now, allow me to regale you with the rules of engagement. When entering a duel, you must lay down a star chip as a wager. Triumph, and you shall claim your opponent's star chip. Alas, should your feet befall you, relinquish the star chip you gambled. That, my friend, encompasses the essence of our dualistic escapades. May the duels be riveting and entertaining. Toodles! So the rain played out, I thought. That is time rain again. It is a story of creeps. Alright, Keeper. Hey. Alright, so he's still, uh, hey. still no cop. Great. Huh? Hey, oh. guard. Got it, but nothing. Yeah, not even a single reptile. Really? Yeah, uh, apparently, getting new shipments in a few days. They weren't expecting everyone to be eating more cards. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I was just hoping for the best. I mean, my stuff's a, my stuff's new, so I wasn't expecting much. So I was just hoping. Uh, my stuff's pretty old. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, you guessing you're also a part of the tournament? Oh, yeah, I am. Definitely. You know, maybe go and uh, find ourselves a little uh, duel arena and have a little game? I mean, yeah, why not? Let's start things off. Uh, one each, what do you say? Just started. Don't want to oh, get yeah, rid of everything. Else. Yeah, d don't want to put it all on. Well, after guess, yeah. yeah, nothing to risk for after all. <laughs> yeah, guess let's go find ourselves a duel arena. Yeah, from what I've heard, they're uh, basically all over the place. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think when I was on my way here, I got kind of lost. But I'm pretty sure I saw one that way. Uh, I mean, I'll, I don't blame you for getting lost. These things, uh, you can. This place is huge. <laughs> Lots of oh, twists yeah. and turns. Like, the dock is just so far away from the castle. Yeah, like, I get Pegasus wanted this to be a grand spectacle, but what was he thinking? Like, he could have made it at least a little bit closer. Yeah, I mean, I was fortunate enough to already run into his grandson, so... Oh, so the rumor of him having a kid isn't actually a lie? <laughs> Apparently. Very surprising. So, uh, you know what I do? What do you do? Uh, what, what do I do? Uh, well, I'm a, uh, I'm just a tourist, you know. I live off the streets, mainly. Never really had any, uh, uh solid home. Just made do with what I got. Uh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, I mean, why am I trying to get a bit of money so I can have a stable living? True. I mean, 
maybe he'll make it up to the ranks with the uh, King of Games himself. And that's what this tournament's about. Yeah, see the next King of Games, see who has potential. Reach the ocean. And yeah, we haven't, we've only seen two, maybe three dual arenas. How will we this bad at finding them? I blame Pegasus for not giving us a map. I agree. Just wander the beach and see if we can find one. Yes, let's. Rise on me. Oh, uh, not much further. My feet are killing me. Is that a cat? Is that you? Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, we found one. one. You see one? Yeah, it's the uh, water water platform. Finally. I can't believe we found one with the broken uh, dude. We found one with, that was floating. We found one that was upside down. We found one that didn't work. Let's hope this one does. Uh, yes. Uh, I'll spare you the long swim, and I'll take the blue side. Okay. Hi. Good luck. Hey, where are all the fish? Uh, I don't know. Pegasus probably paid them all. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if somehow he managed to do that. It is Pegasus, after all. Anyway, after the three-day trek, we were wagering one star chip. Uh, uh, that was so tiring. Uh, Let's do it. Always up. Right then, off here. Yeah. I'll take the first move if you don't mind. Alrighty then. I'll start my turn by setting a monster and setting three spells. And, uh, no, I'll only set one. You're up. Hmm. My hand is interesting. Okay. Why is that? I will. Hmm. I've activate Maria. Discarding bits. In order to send to the graveyard a dark reptile. I will be sending away. My Zoha. Okay. What now? Zoha. Mm. I'm gonna have to. Hmm. I don't have much, so I'm going to banish the both of them. In order to special summon, my Chaos Creator in defense mode. That's good, I need to know one time. Huh. So you've actually heard that I know, I know people know of the Creator and Dark Creator, but I didn't know people knew of Chaos Creator. Uh, I grew up in some weird areas, mate. Well. I'm going to just end it there. <laughs> okay, my move. Huh. I'm going to activate one day of things. We both grow a card, and you will stick to the and you mine it. Huh. Peace treaty. Cool. Now that, I'm going to set one card, and I'm going to tribute the card I just set. Bring forth my Ignis Heart, the true breaker wolf. Now my apocalypse can get rid of that nasty Aww. I know, so upset. Now, Ignis Heart. Let's show him what fire truly is. This is gonna burn. Who won't? Well, I forgot about one day of peace that I just activated. Oh. I was wondering why nothing was happening. We both forgot no. about it. Great. Yes. And it also means I can't feel bad with damage. Right. But I just happen to draw into my snake brain. Ooh. What is that kind of 
You've heard of raining snakes. You've seen raining men, but now it's raining snakes. And by discarding a card from my hand, I can send to the graveyard four different reptile monsters. Well, because you are in a car, I am allowed to add a continuous spell from my hip to my hand. For example, my Draco Phoenix. And I'll activate it. I will say sending to the graveyard my highest level monsters that I have that are reptiles. So, I would like you to greet from, I would like to say hello in the graveyard, to alert, curse, and my king and queen. Ooh. I don't like the king and queen. I don't blame you. And next, I will activate Ogdoletic Serpent Strike. Right. Doesn't do anything right now, but when I act, when I use its effect, while well, it's on the field already, I can send to the graveyard another one reptile monster, and summon one with different attributes from the graveyard. So by sending to the graveyard Reptilian Caudal, I can summon from the graveyard my king. And he's better off for defense, but seeing as how he has just enough attack points to get over that egg nest, I might as well attack with it. Unfortunately for you, we're gonna activate my compulsory evac. My compulsory evac right. Awww. Him being in my hand is the last thing I want. Oh, it's definitely good for me to know. I will set a card, and I have... I will now use my Ogdoetic Water Lily. Okay. Better watch out what's in the waters. You never know what's lurking beneath them. So, I'll be sending to the graveyard Flow Ghost. And because that now makes five reptiles, I can summon one of them. So, say hello to my queen. Okay. Don't want to and now I'll use Flogos and discard my king to add him to my hand. Now he's my I'm gonna be. Okay. I'll end it there. I'm a bug, yeah. Okay, I'll end it. I'll step up. I'll flip up my key to the fire now. And I will normal summon my dog. I'll also set it up. Now we'll move to the battle phase. My Ignis heart, and I say I can't break. So I. My queen has more attack points. Fortunately, it does. Not for long. Huh. I happen to draw into my chaos base. I don't get to see much of it. So, by discarding Flogos, this will let me add to my hand. I got my boy. Ah. So all of your monsters can bring things to have unactivated effects. Same one as before. Uh, well, I get to well because I discarded the light monster, I get to add to my hand the dark monster. Okay. So I want to add to my hand chaos stateless. That does not look friendly. I'm gonna be honest. He is not friendly at all. No, I'm gonna use Ugly like Daybreak in the graveyard. I banish it and return to deck by Nunu. No, no. Shuffle into the deck. Okay. And then I get to send one to the a reptile to the graveyard. Right. So I already have Flow Ghost in the graveyard. So Flow Ghost King Queen alerts and curse, so I might as well send to the graveyard my other one. That would be Zoha. You have a lot of these things. I do. Now, I'm gonna activate my Lamani Fate, what my ace card in the deck. My signature, my favorite. I activate my continuous trap monster, Apophis the Swamp Deity. Uh, 
nothing more than that. Like at all. Who hurt it? He takes on the embodiment of Apophis, the great snake prophesied of the power of the sun god Ra. Sadly, because I don't have any other supporting cards on the field, he's only a monster. <laughs> but, now that I have another monster on the field, I can bring out one of my other Ogdoatics from the graveyard. Now, which one is it? Oh, I will, I will use Curse from the graveyard, Tribute Apophis, to bring it to the field. Curious if you have anything to do about this. I will activate my true king's return. Just won't do anything just yet. But just in case you just go with my true king, you know? Or true king. Or cursed. Well, now let me special summon from the graveyard my Phlogos. Well, for now, I'm instead just going to... Instead oh, just going to... You're dark, actually, so... Uh, no, your light it has to be dark, so... I can't see that. So, by attributing the both of them, I can bring out air in the king. I don't want to look for your king. That's why you got rid of him with that compost earlier. And like, let's have a field spell, so that's for the field useless. So, let's go for the attack. My queen will attack the Ignis. Well, I'll activate Mesopotamus. This will let me activate directly from my deck, my Draconic Diagram. Oh! Now my in a crash. Oh, my monster is not destroyed. Oh, that's annoying. I will attack. I it does, but they have the same attack points. I suppose it doesn't matter. So dark. Okay. However, you have given me the generosity of having a field spell on the field. So now. I can actually bring him out for its effects. I'm gonna banish from the graveyard my Chaos Creator alongside. Oh, it has to be you, gosh dang it. Has You're banished, I forgot about that. My curse, because I forgot I banished the others. But ah. I can now bring out Chaos Daedalus. No, sea serpent. Well, the Sea Serpent has a nasty effect. For every field spell, because there's a field spell on your field, on uh, my field, I get to banish a card. And I'm gonna get rid of... I don't know what your spell traps do. Honestly. They kind of worry me, but I know that Ignis can bring out more, so I'm getting rid of that. Yeah, my little friend. And with that, I can banish Chaos Space to bring back into the deck Chaos Creator. Okay. And draw a card. That's an interesting draw. I'll just end it there, though. I would like to make my Draconic Diagram. Let me destroy my... Draco Phoenix. Not to add Ignis to my hand. Thanks, I just got rid of him. So wait, you have effects when it beat the fields? Oh yes, it feels. Uh, that's annoying. Well, a card was added to your hand. That's all, please. 
so I don't want to get rid of it. I don't want to get rid of it. I don't want to get rid of it. Don't you worry about it. Well, I will now use my true queen switch to bring back my true queen. That thing was terrifying. I thought my snakes had more medicine. And let's tribute my true king to try to call forth my Drake reward. I'll then get my return from back, destroying my thief of Well, a card was destroyed on your side of the field. Of my card effects. And you outside committed. of your battle phase. Yes, I did. <laughs> but now I get to add to my hands a reptile. On the way. I will add to my hands. Where are you? Where are you? There you are, Nuya. Right. I will use my Great Oak Phoenix, running free from my graveyard back to my hand. Ah, uh, you get them back too. <laughs> And I'll use my heritage. Let me draw a couple of cards. That's a lot of cards to draw. And I'll set the card. And... I'm gonna... With the battle phase. Draco Warrior, strike down the gates. Honestly, that's the one I was expecting. Yeah, I'll listen to that issue. Ow. I'll end my turn. I will draw. And now I will summon onto the field Naruya. Okay. And with it, her effect, I can add to my hand an Arduinic spell trap. I'll get to use my Great Warrior. So let me activate another Great You have your field spell? I have mine. The Arduinic Origin. Snakes are cold-blooded, and they have, being reptiles, they have a lot of dark thoughts in their mind. Now, I'm gonna use from my hands my adorable little pet, Danger Suchinoko. No, I don't want to hear about your snakes scale aside of all, okay? Well, anyways, because Suchinoko got discarded, I can bring it. I can bring it out to the field. Now, Aaron, I already used that effect. From the graveyard, I will use Amunesia, tributing Naruya and Tsuchinoko to bring it to the field. have my king attack into that king. I'm going to use the attack of the king. This will let me destroy my regular pieces. What? Stop. And, and now my Draco Phoenix uh, is uh, Draco Origin. Well, you got rid of my field spells, so for every reptile in my graveyard that's a different name, you lose the top card of your deck to the graveyard. I'm done. And there's a lot of them. And because you lost the card, and the user will activate, allowing me to special summon a reptile from the grave. So I will be summoning to summoning out to the fields. I'm gonna bring out Zoha. Okay. Who, when summoned, will you draw a card? I get an automatic monster to my hands, okay. and then we both discard a card. We do choose. Or... We, we do choose. Okay. I know I'm I'm discarding the alert I got to my hands. I'll get rid of my hands. And now, because you discarded a card, Aaron's effect activates. Okay, my spirit. 
sao Can we get my monster? What? Ah. Now? I'd rather not use them for this, but I don't really have much of a choice. I'm overlaying both my king and queen into the terrifying insecto insectoid menace. Behold the freakiest fabula fi fabulous fly of them all, King of the Swarm! Say hello to number one, Infectious Buzz King! It's a fly. Why is it labeled yes. number one? Because it's number one. It's his name. It's a number. It's a number. They like the limited room series of top or something? Uh. Well, there's only 100 numbers, and each of them are different names. Okay! Hey. Anyways, because it was XE summoned. I get to send a carpenter extra deck to the graveyard. I will get my true draco apocalypse. This will let me tribute some of my true draco file. And I can get it. What are these extra deck cards? I've never seen these. Uh, the card, I can't really assume them yet, yeah, but I'm hoping at some point you'll just run them and take them and slide them here. Alright, well, how about we go XC's for XC's effect? Okay, well, I'll get my heritage. Uh, it will destroy my apocalypse. And I'll get my apocalypse effect to destroy that boss king of yours. Honestly, I was trying going to destroy your tra trap card anyways. Well, I guess that's the new uh, sadly, I can't bring anything from my extra deck out. So, I'll just end my turn. I'll move my true king to attack mode, and I'm going to use my great king, returning my apocalypse, heritage, and one of my king. Great. So, let's figure out that. I'll now use my diagram, allowing me to destroy my dart, and I'll just add to my hand my true king's return. Now I'm gonna set a cup, and by tributing my phoenix, I can bring forth my great caster. My disciples will then destroy my return, whose effect will then allow me to destroy them, guaranteeing me this. Well. It's a vector activates. Kill all my monsters. I'll add my heritage. To the field. You draw a card. And you're forced to discard the only card you can bring out. Add it to your you, you got you can just got to your hand. That's fine by me. So I will add to my hand curse and discard it. Broco Fighter attacking directly. Ow. Broco Fat Caster, follow it up. Oh boy. The Draco Ow. Warrior finishes. Oh Jesus Christ, boy, that, is... that was close. Uh, how Too close for comfort. I think. Uh. Oh, there we go. Do you want to just. Uh. Wait. Um, oh, you, your deck is, I do, but, your holy crap, your deck is terrifying. So is yours, mate, so is yours. Oh, I didn't even get to bring out any of my fancy extra deck cards out of number one. I don't need, I'm not able to bring out any of mine, so. Uh, oh. that's a, that's a right darn shame. That's a right darn shame indeed. What did that number one do anyway? Um... On XZ summon, I, I look at your extra decks and went to the graveyard. Uh, during my turn, not a quick effect. Use one overly material, destroy a card in your field after targeting it, 
And during my standby phase, I can steal one of your graveyard cards for a void material. Okay, I'm glad I got rid of that very quick then. Right, I can only use one material a turn, so, uh... Right, well, we should probably head... I'm surprised it's not night already, to be honest, but... Yeah, I mean, after all, we've been walking around for a long time looking for this tool field. Any idea where the rest of the castle is? Uh, I have no idea. I think we're uh, lost. Yeah. Can we split up? Um, I just lost against you. I gotta hope I don't lose the next duel. So, right. Ugh. From what I understand, I think splitting up would probably be good. We can find another duelist, and if one of us doesn't make it back during the night, we can send out a search party. Yeah, what if we don't make it back? Uh, if we don't both make it back, then better hope we can camp. Okay, then. And then, uh, Let's -a go. See ya. Right, then. Uh... Hey, it's another duel arena. Let's see. Is this one broken? Bloody hope not. Uh, let's see, then. Oh, someone on it. Da -da 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 -da. Let's just quickly pop up. Excuse me, mate. Hello. Hey, uh, so do you know if the stoller in our works? I've used to play in the times. Oh, you used to plenty of times. How many star chips do you by chance have? I got a good few. You got a good few, okay. Well, uh, how many are willing to uh, wager in a game then? I think we're better off just doing a single. Ah, uh, just one? Uh, Alright then. Well, I guess let's go to our platforms and uh, let's do it, you know? And up here. Easy. Oh, did you fall? Okay. I just went up the ladder. Okay, mate. Let's, let's duel. Let's duel. Right then, I'll take the first move if you don't mind. Fire with me. Right, I'll start my turn by activating my Awakening of the Possessed. And then I'll activate my Terraforming. This will let me search out for my Draconic Diagram. And now I can activate my Diagram. And... Oh, Yes, pretty. I'm going to set a card and I'm going to normal summon my area. This will let me draw a card. Oh, so pretty too. And here's another pretty card. I'm going to destroy my Draco Phoenix. In order to add my... Hmm, let's add my Disciples of the Draco Phoenix. She looks like an angel. Correct. I'm now going to get her effects. This will let me add to my hand my uh, Draco Warrior. No, that looks I'm... scary. He's not that scary. Now, I'm going to use my true Draco Phoenix in order to normal summon my Draco Warrior by tributing my Draco Phoenix. I then get my, my effect in order to destroy my True King's Return. And I'll get... Eh, I won't use its effect. Why would you destroy your own cards? No, you'll find out later on, my friend. What's your name, anyway? Uh, sure. My name's Chase. Chase? Yeah, Chase. Chesh. Like the Cheshire Cat? I guess. I'm gonna set two cars face down and hand it to you. Right, I draw. Uh, that's not really gonna be much help right now. I will... Activate my Unpossessed. And I'll use my Diagram, letting me destroy my rivalry of Warlords in my hand. In order to add to my hand my... 
Hmm. Let's add my heritage. Why are all cards playing? What do you mean? A trap card. Yeah. They're fighting each other. N no, they're not. They're preparing to fight my opponents. Now, let's move to the battle phase. And Draco Warrior, destroy the face down. Bye, Ojama Yellow. You, you, you're not running an Ojama deck, are you? Maybe. Oh, God. Ow. It's your turn. Under our face, I activate Ojama Pajama. And I get my Draco Warriors effect. This will let me activate a spell from my deck. For example, my Phoenix. Oh, there's your Jammer Pajamas effect. And I'll get to activate another spell. This time I'll activate my Heritage. I want to enter my hand an Ojama card. So, nice. say hello to Ojama Country. Oh god. Now I discard old job magic. Now oh, I get no. the Ojama Brothers to my hand. What are you planning? Now I activate Polymerization. Oh good god. I'm fusing all the Ojama Brothers together to bring out Ojama King. Who hurt you, mate? And now, three of your monster zones get blocked off. Great. That's not all. I have to battle Jama Country. What is that? Do? Now we're attacking. The attack and defense points <sighs> of all monsters are swapped with an Jama monster on the field. Now, that is now very look nice. at how strong Jama King is. That isn't very nice. Now my Jama King will attack into that warrior thingy. I buy Draco Warrior, I guess. Uh, he won't be destroyed, though. I like that move. My move? Uh, uh, I guess. I I'll land a card, and end my turn. Well, I will use my Taconic Diagram in order to destroy my heritage. Let me add to my hand my Draco Fighter. Now I get my heritage's effect to destroy your country. Oh no! That ain't good. Now then, I get to use my phoenix's effect in order to shuffle three from my grave into my deck. For example, my return, my phoenix, and my phoenix. Uh oh. Okay. Now then, I'm going to. I'm going to move to my battle phase. Who's Raker Warrior? Uh -oh. Take down the king. That's just gonna hurt. Ah! Area destroyed the face now. Two times over. You got rid of our Jammer Blue. And that lets me get our Jammer cards to my hand. Okay. Oh god, what are you gonna say? I'm right to my. I'm adding to my hand Ojama Pink and Ojama Match. Okay. Well, I will move to my main phase too. And I'm going to use my Phoenix in order to tribute summon a monster. I activate Ojama Pajama again. And I'll get to activate another spell card. For example, another Phoenix. Now I'd like to add to my hand an Ojama card again. Right. So, I'm gonna get back another Ojama magic. Okay. And I discard it. Now oh, you get to add the three Ojama rulers, right? Uh huh. Fun. Well, I will get and my. And because it's your turn, I don't discard. Okay. Aww. They don't like the pajama party. 
No, not really. I'll also get rid of my Phoenix in order to bring forth my mate. And now I get to draw a couple cards. I'll use my one day of peace. We both draw a card, neither of us take battle damage. No! And I'll end my turn now. Ah, draw! Oh. I activated Stamma Country! Great. I will use my true Draco Fighter. This will let me activate a trap. Like my apocalypse. Now I'll use a Jama Country's effect. I'm gonna discard the Jama card. Yeah. And what are you gonna do with said discarded Ojama card? I discard Ojama Pink and special summon Ojama King. I will use my caster, letting me add a monster. I will add my... I'll add my general. Hi, King! And, because Ojama Pink was discarded, we will lose the monster zone. It's tea time! Oh, great. I will use and because my I discarded it. This will let me activate my heritage. Now, we need to just draw a card and discard a card. Okay. I'm gonna discard from my hand the Light Hex Shield Fusion. I'll discard my general. What are you gonna do now, eh, mate? You're gonna attack the, your little king? I'll activate all your match. Oh, great. I'm gonna discard from my hand or Java Black. Right. Now I get to add to my hand from, from my graveyard or Java Yellow. And okay. I'll also add to my hand I'll add to my hand or I'm Dragon Level 3. Right. Why? Because I'm going to summon him. Oh, God. What, what can the little arm dragon do? Now, I've got a normal summon RJ Yellow. Right. Now, I'm going to activate our Jar Muscle. Oh, God. Jar King gains power. Oh god. Now old Jama King is gonna attack. I'll use my apocalypse. Allow me to destroy my heritage, halving all your attack. Aww. And my heritage will destroy your country. And I get to tribute summon something. Uh oh. Yeah, uh oh. So, what are you going to do? Um... Yeah? I should have gone in my turn. Good for you. I draw. I will use my diagram, letting me destroy my Vanisher. This will let me add my return to my hand. Now I get Vanisher's effect. Letting me add my general back to my hand. And now I use my apocalypse. Allowing me to destroy my heritage. Halving your attack. Heritage will then destroy that back row. Ooh, that could have been deadly. Now then, I will... That card. And I'll tribute my general for my general. Now, okay. let's go to the battle phase. Fighter, finish him off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right. Uh -oh. Well, that was a uh, duel. Uh-oh. Yeah.
Come a dude. There you are. Uh, well, I think you owe me something. Uh huh. Chess is only starship. It only star. I thought you said you had tons. I was hoping I would win. Chess is uh, lost. Well, uh, hopefully you don't get kicked off the island. Also, uh, do, do you know where else the castle is from here? Um. Northeast. That way. Uh, uh, no, that way. Mountain way. I don't trust your judgment. I'm heading this way. Uh, bye bye. Bye, Ojama dude. Oh, bloody hell, it's rain. <sighs> Better find somewhere to keep shelter. You know, I'm starting to feel like I'm never going to find my way back to bloody castle. Oh, is that a cave? Okay, then. Let's take a look in this cave, then. Oh, there's some torches in here. Uh, Hello. Are you a panda? Uh, yes. Is, is this going to be a thing? Because you're like the second person to think I was like, was a man in a panda suit. Oh, I don't think you were a man in a panda suit. I, I, I'm just curious if I'm hallucinating or not. Oh, no, I'm an actual panda. You sure I didn't get knocked out back there? I'm going to be honest. I don't know who you are, nor do I know where you were knocked out. So Fair you enough. could very well be, hallucin be hallucinating. But if that's the case, then the first dude I dueled is hallucinating and then i'm hallucinating well, t but tell me your name ain't panda right no no it's alan who okay who a okay. talking panda panda that just seems a little bit unoriginal though look, given the fact that i didn't name that i didn't name myself i can't really say much look that that's exactly why look i asked because if i was hallucinating i won't be able to think of something like alan if anything i'll okay, think of yeah, something like, like austin yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, anyway, like, are you a part of the tournament, or are you just uh, living more here? More or less, yeah. More or less. Uh, yeah, I, lo I, I lost a starship, I think. I tried eating one. Was not edible. edible? But then I lost to this dude named, uh, R Roberto? Robbie? Robert, Robert. Never heard of him. Yeah, no, I don't. I, I don't know like half the people here. I sort of just came on the island, got some star chips, and just been wandering <laughs> around since. Fair enough, mate. Well, uh, I mean, I, I didn't even know there was a tournament. I just I was just given star chips by this dude. It, yeah, I think I think his name was uh, the, the Flying Horseman. I think. Okay, mate. Okay. Well, uh. I yeah. just came on this island because because the, someone was telling me to. Fair enough, Alan. Fair enough. Yeah, probably to help figure out why I'm a talking panda. Right. Also, why am I a talking panda that's walking on two legs? Pandas can walk on two legs. Not for very long. They can do it, though. True enough, yeah. Well, uh... Well, it's raining outside, and uh... uh, yeah, I had I had to walk back in. I, I was gorging myself on some bamboo. Started raining, and I, I didn't want to get my pants wet. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, you want to have a game while we wait? Um, yeah, sure. If if you don't mind du uh, dueling an arena that was previously dueled on. No, that's fine, mate. Okay. We were struggling to find an arena in my last few duels, so. Yeah, no, understandable. The only reason why I knew was this was here was because I had wandered in uh, into this place before, and I I just thought it was a platform. I didn't re I didn't realize it was a uh, it was something to duel on. I thought well, we needed like a table or something. Well, I guess let's do this. Okay. Uh oh, there we go. There's the the square insert. Ch Chink. Let's do. Um. The first dude, Robert, said we play uh, rock, 
paper uh, scissors in order to decide who goes first or second. You know, never actually you done that, my son, mate. What? Let's do this. Might okay, I'll of choose. Fun. Well, ah. it looks like I win. I'll go first if you don't mind. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Oh, this is an interesting hand. Uh, I'll set one, and I will... Um, I'm going to activate my Spirit Charmers. This will let me get spirit rid of my charmers. Area of the Water Charmer. And letting me add to my hand my Awakening of the Possessed, and letting me set on my field my Win the Wind Charmer. Uh, these are a bunch of chimes, uh, but I don't hear any... Uh... The tinkling sounds like chimes make. Uh, the charmers, not chimes. Oh, okay. Yeah, like they charm creatures of their attribute. Uh, that that makes sense. That makes more sense than I was thinking. Well, I'll activate my unpossessed. What you got? Okay, well, uh... I drew a card that I can't use. Um, let me let's let me summon Archfiend's Cavalry. Ooh, that thing looks kind of scary, you know. Indeed, yes. Though the other dude I dueled the first time thought I was like because I was a panda that I would use like beast cards. Now, nah, what panda would ever use beast cards? Like, I mean, that's stereotypical. Yeah. It's like, what? Does he expect you to use gladiator beasts? I don't know. Uh, well, apparently your wind, the wind charmer, was not destroyed. Yeah, my unpossessed. So I'll have to pass the turn back to you. Well, it's my move. Okay, then. Uh, I'll activate my rivalry of the warlords. And I will. Oh, uh, yeah. Let us. Ooh, I actually can't. Okay, um, I will normal summon my... No, oh, yeah, I'll set a monster. And I'll end my turn. You're up. Okay. Um, I shall set one card face down. And a special summon... Not special summon. I'm still trying to learn. You're good, mate. You're good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I normal summon... The red resonator. He he is the friend that keeps me warm at night. That's adorable. Yes, and on normal summon, I get the special summon a level four monster. Let that be my other archfiend's cavalry. Okay, okay. I now synchro summon using red resonator and archfiend's cavalry into archfiend's call. Ooh, that's a strong monster. Mm-hmm. And with that, Archfiend's Call shall attack your face down. Bye-bye, my Drino. Uh, I think that's Fighter, right? Yeah, Draco Fighter. I'll get my Unpossessed effect. This will let me special summon to my side of the field, my Dark, and face down defense position. Okay. Oh, you've... If, if I've... If I understand your card's effects, Dark Charmer's supposed to charm my Dark Monsters? That is correct. And because he flipped face up, he is going to charm your cavalry. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, it goes to your graveyard because I can only control one type. Ah, because of rivalry of warlords. Exactly. See, you're getting the hang of this. Oh, and I'm sad now. Calvary's effect did not activate because it was not destroyed by card effect. It was just sent there. Oh, I'm sorry about that, mate. Uh, that's all right. And uh, I'll pass it back to you. My move. Uh, why don't we keep the H Why don't we keep the edgy terrain rolling? I'll normal summon familiar possessed dark. I then get my awakening uh, effect. Let me draw a card. Interesting. Interesting. I'll activate my own face down. Destiny board. Ooh, I have never actually seen anyone run that card. Ah, uh, uh, I'll activate my heritage. And now I will end my turn. You're up. Okay, destiny board activates. 
Uh, setting back spirit message E. Okay. What does that do that? Uh, you spelling? Uh, nothing much. Yeah, okay. yeah, no, I'm spelling. I'm still trying to learn my English. No, that's fine, mate. I'm, I'm glad you're learning it. You're mm -hmm. doing very well. Thank you, thank you. Anyways, I drew this card. Might as well use it. I normal summon Archfiend Emperor, First Lord of Horror. Okay. Ooh, but in doing so... Yeah, but uh, actually it's half to attack now based on the effect of Aww. its summoning. So yeah. But I can do this. By activating this effect, I can banish one Archfiend card from my graveyard or my hand to destroy one card on the field. Ooh, what are you going to destroy? Uh, let it be your uh, unpossessed. Aw, oh, not my unpossessed. Now, to battle! Yeah? I'll have Cole destroy your uh, possessed dark. That's fine by me. Bye bye, dark. And uh, I, I can't destroy your dark, the dark charmer, because you just got the same defense points as my current monster's attack. Yep. What are you gonna do now? But I'll have to end my turn. And in doing okay. so, uh, First Aww. Lord of Horror is destroyed. Bye bye, First Lord of Horror. I will normal summon my familiar possessed Asuna. I get to draw a card. Oh, come on. I will move to my end phase. You're up. Okay, Destiny Board activates. Setting does. down Spirit Message A. Oh, you're spelling still. Mm-hmm, indeed I am. I'll now activate the Polymerization. Okay. Using the Summon Skull in hand and the Skull Archfiend of Lightning in hand, I special summon to my field Archfiend's Manifestation. Ooh, that's a strong monster. Indeed. And its effect is that all cards... Be that this card's name becomes Summon Skull, same with my Archfiend's Call, and that all cards with Summon Skull, that all Summon Skull cards I control gain 500 attack points. Ooh, so those are two big monsters. Indeed, yes. Now, Manifestation! Destroy Asua! No, Ooh. not my Asuna. Asu uh, Asua. Asa, uh, Asua, now, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know either. Uh, Archfiend's Call, destroy the Dark Charmer. Yeah, it's Dark, the Dark Charmer. Mm hmm. And with that, I'll pass it back to you. My move. I will normal summon by tributing my rivalry, my majestic maiden, the true Draco Caster. Oh. Yeah. And I'll end my turn there. Can't really do too much. Okay. Well, Destiny Board activates once more. And so will my caster. This will let me add a true Draco or true King from my deck to my hand. For example, my Ignis Heart, the true Draco Warrior. I'll set Spirit Message T. Okay, almost filled up your back row. You sure you want to do that? Uh, yes. Now, I now activate Pre-Preparation of Rights. And I get to add another card. I will add my... Uh, let's add my general. I'll add my Archfiend's Awakening from deck to hand. Okay, let's see what you got, Alan. Well, Archfiend's Call. Attack the Majesty Maiden. Okay, goodbye my Maiden. And manifestation, attack directly! Ow, that hurt. Indeed. Well, that's my move. And, okay. Hmm, <laughs> both your monsters are dark, so that don't really help me, but... What I can do is I can use my heritage. This will let me draw a card. Oh, uh, well, I can also normal summon. I'll normal summon my general by tributing my Awakening of the Possessed. I can then normal summon my warrior by tributing my heritage. Oh, neat, neat. And my heritage will let me destroy that T of yours. 
No. Oh, why did you they just destroy destroyed my spelling bee? The um, effect of Destiny Board. If if one spirit message gets destroyed, it all goes away. I'm I'm really sorry, Alan. I really. Oh, I wanted am. to. Yeah, it's fine. I just wanted to complete that spelling. It would have been the first time. I, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I, I hope you get it next game. Uh, I hope so, too. I hope so, too. Anyways, I'll normal summon my red resonator. Yeah. And I shall now use my level 6 Archfiend's Call and my level 2 red resonator to special summon. Grouser, the Thunderclap Tyrant. Ooh, that's a strong monster. Now, go to battle! Manifestation! Attack, uh... Dreath the Third. Okay, bye-bye, General. I'll get my General's effect. After all, what would he be if he didn't lay out the groundwork for something stronger? Now, come to my field. My Vanisher. Oh, neato, neato. Anyways, Grouser, destroy the Draco Warrior. Goodbye, Ignis Heart. And with that, I'll end my turn. My move, I draw. I'll move my Vanisher to attack mode. And I shall... Hmm, I'll set out a card. And I will set one monster. Now I move to the battle phase. I now activate Grouser's the Thunderclap's quick effect. Oh. And what can your Grouser I'll do? target Grouser himself. Discarding my Archfiend's Awakening. Okay. And activate Grouser's the Thunderclap's effect. Or, or not. Negated your own effect. Ah. Uh... Right. I move to my battle phase. And Vanish will destroy now. your Grouser. I'm sad now. It's okay, Alan. I, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure you can bring this back around. I draw. Manifestation. Attack the. Uh, attack the Vanisher. Oh no. Well, bye bye Vanisher. And with that, I'll end my turn. My move. I draw. I will activate my terraforming. This will allow me to add draconic diagram to my hand. And I'll activate my diagram. This will let me destroy my set at Blazing Mirror Force, allowing me to oh. add to my hand my true king's return. And I'll set it along with another monster as I pass my turn okay. over to you. My draw. What do you got, hey, Alan? I'll set one card face down, and I'll have... Yeah? Archfiend's Manifestation attack your secondary face down. I'm allowed to use my True King's Return. This will allow me to bring to my field my... Uh, let's bring my Vanisher. Well, I'll actually change my attack to the Vanisher. Goodbye, my Vanisher. I'll pass it back to you. I'll then get my True King's Returns effect. Allowing me to tribute both my monsters to bring out my Behemoth. Oh. Okay. I'll end my turn there. I'll now use my True King's Return. Bringing back my Draco Fighter. I'll activate my back row. Sentence of Doom! Now, what does this card do then? I can target any uh, number of fiend monsters that are banished or in my graveyard. Okay. And and move to the field. Or, uh, okay, that, that's not actually what I was doing. No, no, no. I can place the spirit message from, like, graveyard to the field. I, I, st I still it, don't know it, how to it's use... It's okay, Alan. It's okay. I'm going to get rid of my father. Allow me to add to my hand my heritage. 
Okay. I'll now activate my heritage. And I'll use this effect. Let me draw a card. Oh, I'll now use one day of peace. Neither rulers take battle damage, and we both draw a card. Okay. Now I contribute my Draco Fighter to bring forth my general. Okay. And I'll end my turn there. Okay. Well, I activate Advanced Ritual Art. Okay. By attributing one monster, this this one, the Summon Skull, directly from my deck, I can Ritual Summon Archfiend's Awakening. That thing looks terrifying. Indeed, indeed it is. Now, I could have these monsters, but instead, I go into this. I exes using Archfiend's Manifestation and, and my Ritual Archfiend into Wallow, founder of the Drudge Dragons. Ooh, that thing looks terrifying. Indeed it is. It gains 100 attack and defense for each card in my opponent's graveyard. Okay, okay. Now, Wallow, attack the general! Um, that's fine by me. Goodbye, my general. I He will not be destroyed this battle, though. Ah. Uh, I will not take okay. damage either, because it's one day of peace. Right, I completely forgot about one day of peace. Most people do, including myself. I will now use my diagram. This will allow me to destroy my True King's Return, adding to my hand, my Phoenix. Okay. Now I'll use my Phoenix. And I'll use this effect, allowing me to return my True King's Return, my Draco Fighter, and my Draco Warrior. All to the deck in order to draw a card. Okay. And I will... Set the very card I drew. And now I'll use my heritage. Let me draw an extra card. Okay. Okay. I will be setting a monster and moving to my end phase. You're up. Okay. Okay. My draw. You got this, Alan. Now, Wallow. Attack the general. By my general. Although he's not destroyed. You still take the damage, however. Correct, I do. Now it's my move. I will flip my True King's Return using its effect, allowing me to bring forth my Maiden. I'll activate Drug Dragon's quick effect. Oh? Targeting your own Maiden! Especially How summoning it to my side of the field. How dastardly, Alan. Now, I will tribute my True King's Return to bring forth my Draco Fighter. I'll then get its effect, allowing me to destroy my Heat of the Fire Charm. Now then, I will use my Phoenix. Returning my True King's Return, my Father, and my Vanisher, in order to draw a card. I can then use my Diagram, allowing me to destroy my Phoenix in order to add to my hand, my Phoenix. And I'll get my Phoenix of Effect, letting me destroy that Spirit Message of yours. Yeah, well, let's let's do any of it. I'm going to reactivate my Phoenix and use my Heritage, I'm going to draw two cards. And now I will mm, end my turn. And I believe this is game, Alan. Indeed it is. You played well. Thank you. And I'll activate the final card in my hand. Dark Sanctuary! I'll get my Eight Fighters effect, which will allow me to add to my field my Apocalypse. Now, 
Majesty Maiden, end this duel! I'm gonna use my Apocalypse. Allow me to Tribute Summon. My Vanisher. And my General will then get its effect off. Bringing to my field, my General. That's game, I believe. I can't attack. Oh. Looks like I bought myself another turn. I will normally Indeed, you did. my area. Allow me to draw an extra card. That was not helpful. Well, I will end my turn. My draw. And you finish it this time. I will set one card face down and move to the battle phase. Yes. Now, Majesty Maiden, end this! That's game. Right then, Alan. Looks like you won. Oof. Indeed, yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, well, looks like you can afford to lose another duel. <laughs> indeed, yeah. I've got a, a two star chips. Nice, nice. Uh, what's... Okay, well, first of all, do you know where about the castle is? Oh, yeah, no, uh, it's over the mountain, uh, back that way. Uh, how close is it? Um... I don't know, couple, a couple meters? Oh, okay. I'm a lot closer than uh, I was before. Also, what's deeper into this cave? I don't know. I haven't explored deeper into the cave. Uh, maybe we should come back another time and uh, see. Honestly, yeah. I, I'm, I'm kind of hungry. I want, I want some deep-fried bamboo. Hey, I mean, we can head back to uh, the castle and uh, see if they've got any... Uh, yeah, hopefully. Got any deep-fried bamboo for you? Hopefully. Also, like, I know bamboo isn't nutritious for pandas, but still. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm, I'm probably actually going to see if Keeper has any new charmers, because they did pretty well during, to me during that duel. Yeah, yeah, they were they were pretty good. I mean, you didn't actually get them perfectly off because of Rivalry of Warlords, Ooh. but... Oh, that's my chair. You, do you want to take it home? Oh, yeah, I completely forgot. Ugh. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I'll have to uh, uh, dry it out in the sun. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, I guess let's head back to the uh, castle. Mm-hmm. Get something to eat, get something to drink, relax. Yep. Well, right. uh, here's the castle. Yeah, we finally made it back. Anyway, what? Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't actually see a room labeled Alan. Where else is your room? Oh, uh, yeah, I... I uh, I live over there. You, you live around the side. Yep. You, you mind if I take a look? Oh yeah, go ahead. It's there's not much, but I managed to set up a pretty a pretty decent area. I'm I'm genuinely curious what this looks like. Oh god, this is a tight squeeze. Oh. Mhm. Mm How did you? I'm not going to question how you put this here. Oh, your deck chair's already here. Yep, I've got two. Ah. Well, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, one's my deck chair for home. The other's my uh, traveling deck chair. Okay, okay. So what, do you just live on the island now? Um, yeah, more or less. I'm going to be completely honest with you, man. Um, I didn't know there was a tournament. Oh, no, you mentioned that before. Yeah, no, I, I was I, I was sent here uh, by uh, a pal of mine to figure out the whole me thing. Yeah, and probably and also like search for some I don't know ancient relic. The dude wasn't very uh, specific. Well, I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for, Alan. And also, mm -hmm. uh, after this whole tournament's over, you. you you f feel free to come uh, pop by my place anytime. Uh, yeah, I'm, d I'm totally down for that. I yeah. might have to change my outfit at some point in time, though. Uh, maybe. I mean, I'm sure Pegasus is something you can steal. Y you mean Winged Horse Man? Oh, that... Oh. Now that makes sense. Yeah, also, I've, I've heard people call him... The, the man with many eyes. 
not quite sure. As far as I can tell, he's only got one eye, so I've I've got no clue well, why, I thought you had why two. call him that. I'm pretty sure he has one eye. I don't know. You're a panda. You probably know better than me. Yeah, I, I've seen I've seen some strange stuff aside from myself. You're not that strange. I mean, I'm a walking, talking panda playing a children's card game. Look, you don't got to call me out like that, okay? <laughs> uh, true, true enough, true enough. Yeah, uh, you rest up, you get some food. I'm gonna just chill. Yeah, if I see any bamboo that's deep fried, I'll come tell you. Sweet, thank you. Peace, Alan. Right then, let's take a look through these new changes then. Right then, I've got my uh, channel as in here now. I can't believe Keeper actually managed to find these guys. I mean, they're really powerful. But the only ones that I'm missing is the Water Charmer and Light and Dark. But, yeah. Also got these Awakened of the Possessed, which... These are also very, very powerful cards. Yeah. But not many upgrades, but... Enough to make the deck a little more strong. Right. Now then. I guess let's uh, go and see what we can do next. No. I feel a bit lucky. What do I do? Let's see if we can get someone to wager two star tips. Feel like with these new cards, I'm unstoppable. Right then. Yeah, with these new cards, I feel unstoppable. <sighs> ah. Oh, oh, hey again. Been hey. Seth and it's been Marion, a while, yeah. Right? Yeah. So, oh, how, how's your uh, adventures been going in this tourney? Not that well. It's go, go, been go, 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 hassle. Let's go stand by Keeper and we'll talk about it. Right, so. Uh. Give me the rundown of what's happened. Okay, so I met some dude that broke a, his door right as I was going towards my room. Right. Um, broke the floor as well through some weird reason. Okay. Um, uh, told me what was. Oh, sorry, getting a little happy. Uh, you good, mate? You good? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I then he then said, hey. Do you want to duel, right? Right. Not really like that, but uh, I, I kind of muttered, uh, this guy's weird. My grandpa must be stopping me up with, with the crazy people. Um, he heard that. Then he challenged me to a duel. I couldn't refuse, right? Dueled him, lost. Dude was running dream mirrors. Ooh. Yeah, I see where you lost. Yeah. Then I met another person, uh, the panda guy. I don't... Oh, Alan. Yeah, yeah, I've dueled Alan. Yeah. Uh, I won. Magically. Nice, nice. Um. Let's see. Uh, and then I chucked me up to again, and I met this dude called Robert that had Prada plants. Okay. Uh, 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 he was decently a hassle. He almost lost, but good thing I had one of my aces, just in case. Okay, okay. Well, that means you're at three, right? Yep. Nice. Well, uh, my, my first day, well, my first duel was against this dude called Alfie We could, well, we ran into your, mm. the one you were using, so, yeah. But after that, we spent the uh, better part of three hours searching for another dual arena. Uh, we ended up finding one. And uh, yeah, I managed to beat him there. Then I went ahead and dueled this dude in the forest. He was Dojamas. I beat him. Then I ran into Alan, the panda. Uh, he beat me. Now I'm back here. Ah, okay. So... So, Seems we're both at three, so... Well, we are both at three, yeah. And, uh, you know, if we wager two, one of us would then be in the finals, and the other would still be in the game. 
So, what do you say, Seth? Yeah, I could try. I could check that deal. That's that's not a bad deal. Right then, I guess. Uh, wasn't there stool arena? Uh, the one that we used. Uh, I think the one that I used uh, the first day I got here. Okay. I know there's one pretty close in like a uh, cave just over that way. Uh, you want to go over there? I don't mind going uh, over there. It's a bit of a trek. Things. Oh yeah, I see it in the distance. Yeah. Oh. Well, it seems. I think. It seems two people are using it right now. Okay. Two people I've not actually seen before. Really shows yeah. you how diverse this tournament is. Yeah, uh, we could go to the place that you said now then, since this is being occupied. Uh, I think I actually know the closer one to here. Just follow me. Yeah. I'll follow you. But either way, I think it's just a bad uh, idea. I was off, uh, probably. I'm just following you, man. We've been walking for like a little bit. Yeah, it's just a bit of a pad. Uh, I don't think many people actually found this one, so... Hopefully yeah. there's no one using it. So how many people are even in this tournament? I have no idea. Well, uh, which side do you want? Uh, I'll take blue. Okay, then. Head over to red, then. Yep. Right, then, Seth and Million. You ready to duel? Right. Yep. Let's do this, Arv. Let's do it. Ah. I'll take the first move, if you don't mind. That's okay. Okay, then. Okay, then. I'll start my turn by... Uh, setting two cards. And use normal summoning by tributing my True King's Return. My Draco Warrior. What the heck? Look at these cards. I can also activate my Awakening of the Possessed. To boost my monster, and I'll end my turn there. Okay, I'll draw. I will activate my spell card. Twin Twisters. Ooh, I'm sending my one for one. My spells. So uh, destroy your face. Partnerships. Your cards. But I am gonna get to activate another. I'm gonna activate my heritage directly from my deck. Ah. Uh. Okay. Well, I set a card and I'll normal summon my my super quanto blue layer. Okay, okay. And I'll activate my blue layer's effect. I'll be able to use my possessed partnerships, placing my awakening of the possessed right back on the field. Just got rid of that too. Um, I'll add my super quanto mech ship magnet carrier. Which I will activate. Interesting. And let's activate it, shall we? I'll summon blue layer. To target my blue layer and summon Super Quanto Mech Beast. Oh. Grand Boss. I thought only Zodiacs could do that. Nope, my deck can too. And thanks to blue layer, it gets to shuffle itself back. Now, I'll end my turn there. Your move. Fine. How about I? Hmm. Yeah, I'm normal summon my dark. This will let me draw a card. I'll act at my face down. Super Quanto Union for me Magna Formation. And I'll be allowed to activate another true Draco uh, spell or trap. I'll activate uh, my Phoenix. Ooh. I'll now use my father. Okay. By getting rid of my gigabyte and my uh my dark. Ah. Because my card it don't get destroyed. However, I can use my Phoenix. 
Okay. To summon my plasma. Now I'm going to use Heritage. Let me draw a card. Okay. That's okay. Okay. I'll set the card I drew and end my turn. You're up. My move, I draw. Isn't that an interesting card to draw? Okay, I activate the spell card, Pot of Greed. That is an interesting card. I'll activate my Unpossessed. Okay. Draw two. I'll do look at that. Okay. I'll set a card face down and on my turn there. Your move. I move indeed. I will tribute to my father in order to bring forth the awakening possessed Archfiend. No, Alan would have really loved this card. I now shuffle three monsters back into my deck in order to draw a card. Hmm. And okay. I'll then use my heritage, allowing me to draw another card. Hmm. I'm going to use my Phoenix. This will allow Man, me to tribute to my drawing. Phoenix in order to bring forth my general. And now my disciples will allow me to destroy that face down of yours. Oh, okay. I like to have my grandpa's special ability. Oh. I can attach my grandpa's to destroy one card on the field. Okay. And I'll get rid of your heritage. Aw, oh, not my heritage. I'll get its effects. But Let me destroy that magnification. Okay. But my blue layer's effect does trigger, shuffling itself back to the deck. Fine by me. Now then, I'm going to use my Lethosterium. Getting rid of both of those to bring itself to my field. And I can look at your extra deck. Ooh, some pretty nice cards you've got in there. And I'll banish. Yeah. Why don't I banish that Tornado Dragon of yours? And no. I'll also banish that Erebus. And why not a Magna Liger? No. I now get my Unpossessed, along with my Archfiend, along with my General's effects. Now, come forth. My Draco Warrior. Along with my Possessed Partnerships to my hand. And my... Uh, Win the Wind Channel to my field. I'll now activate my heritage. Another one. And I'll set a card. Now, I end my turn. You're up. What? Okay. What's wrong, Seth? Throw down one card face down. And... Can't really do anything. I end my turn. I'll do all. I'll activate my possessed partnerships. I'll activate another Magna Formation. I'll bring forth my dark. And I can destroy your magnification. Now then. I will tribute my Draco Warrior to bring forth my Draco Warrior. And I'll use Heritage. Let me draw a few cards. Ha! Huh. I activate Draconic Diagram. This will now let me tribute my True King's Return in my hand in order to add my Draco Phoenix. Fourth. Now by using attack. attack, I can destroy my Letho Stag and my Win. I then get Unpossessed effect along with Letho Stacks. Bringing to my field my Draco Warrior. Along with my Lina. Uh, uh, What's wrong, sir? All that 3,000... What? Correct. And I'll now use Heritage. 
tributing my warrior along with my warrior to bring forth my phoenix. Things almost at 4,000. Now, Draco Phoenix, destroy his grand boss. I'll activate my damage juggler's effect from my hand. Fair enough. I'll end my turn. Let's see what you've got, Seth. Nothing really that crazy, but something. I'll banish my damage juggler to add my trick clown. Set two cards face down. And I'll set a monster in defense mode and I pass my turn. I move, I draw. I will use my draconic diagram. This will allow me to destroy my phoenix in order to add to my hand my... I'll add... Uh, I'll add my general. I now get my unpossessed along with my phoenix. Meaning my vanisher now come to my hand along with my... Uh, also, the wind, ch the earth channel are coming to my field. Now my awakening of the possessed will activate. Let me draw a card. Now then, why don't I tribute that heritage in order to bring forth my Draco Fighter? As heritage destroys one of your back row. What do you got, Seth? Might as well activate it. I'll activate my metaverse. And I'll get my Draco Fighter, letting me activate my Apocalypse. Right to the field. Let me activate and let me add my Magna Carrier to hand. Okay. I'll move to the battle phase. Draco Fighter, destroy the face down. It is Trick Clown. You gonna use its effect or? Yeah, why not? Okay, then. Now, Orsa. Why not? I'll activate Defense Draw. Okay. Now, win. You survive one more... One more turn, Seth. Can you make it count? Hope I can. Come on, you've got this. I believe in you. <sighs> and my turn. Look, Seth. It was fun knowing you, okay, bud? I'm going to destroy my father. Now. Allow me to add to my hand my heritage. And I activate heritage along with my phoenix. Now I can use my general, letting me tribute my Orsa to bring forth to bring himself forth. Now, Draco Fighter. Actually no. Win. Finish this. Right then, mate. That was This something. is the third time. Look, look, don't feel too bad on yourself. I literally just got some new cards. Uh, like, where if are you, you? Oh, I'm on I'm the behind you. Okay. But yeah, it. If you had fought me a couple days ago, then you probably would have beat me. Yeah. My luck is unreal. Look, mate. Look, I'm I'm qualified now, but good luck, okay, mate. Yep. Uh, you need you need any assistance with anything? Just uh, feel free to knock on my door. I'm gonna go chill with Alan for the rest of the day. Okay. Maybe I could try to get some upgrades for my deck. Yeah, maybe I should gramps to like. I don't know, like, they normally add, like, an additional ranger, right? 
Probably. There's only the three. Yeah, like, oh. uh, so you've already got green, right? Uh, I've got green, blue, maybe and red. Maybe white? Probably. Definitely go with your color scheme. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Well, I guess let's sit back to the castle and you can go ask your gramps to make you some new cards. Yeah, let's go. Seriously? Nothing? Still? Ugh. Again? Uh, I haven't seen uh, you until we do those. Uh, <laughs> them. Ugh. Yeah. Who is them exactly? Oh. Um, don't worry about it. We do not discuss yeah. about what happened that day. Mm. We don't talk about mm. the Rhyming Brothers. I tell you not to talk about them and you just... <sighs> right. Well, uh, Mr. Rich Kid, d did you finally manage to get all five? Because... Tournaments apparently meant like the finals are starting nice. soon. Yeah, got my five. Oh yeah, hey. uh, keeper. Did you get those cards I asked for? You say you want to get those new cards. I got a new yes. card. Oh, what oh, new card is you that? Did? Oh, that's good. Uh, okay. Thanks, my keeper. Lord. That is a. Uh, Ooh, that's a nice shiny experience. new card. Oh, Looks like it's fresh off the press. Yeah, yep. Okay, but anyways, I'm gonna add these later. Thanks, keeper. That dude you got talks a new very too? loud. Yeah. Yeah. You. I got a Zord. Oh, oh wait. We got. I, I got, got a this Zord. From Pegasus. So you also. I got this one. from my grandpa. Yeah. Why so is everyone getting new Pegasus. cards from Pegasus? Well, he's a strange old man. Are you surprised? Yes. Hey, I. Hey, are you surprised? No, I'm saying, are you surprised for me? No, of I'm course surprised. I get new cards. I'm surprised that nobody managed to get one. Uh, probably Gramps f felt pity for him. Mm -hmm. Hey. Uh, I, anyway, I don't think we've actually dueled before, right? No, we haven't. I, do, I don't think we've ever met him. Honestly, yeah. Uh, yeah. I've, I've met both of you already, so you guys already know who I am. Anyways, to make mm. this easier, hi, I'm Robert Lafair. Right, don't care, but I am Harvey Dracon. Yeah. Uh, come on, okay? come on, Mr. Rich Kid, introduce yourself to the new boy. I've You're already met him. Yeah, I'm Seth Amelia, nice to meet you. I'm See, I'm... that wasn't that hard. <laughs> I've already met him, though. Um, wait. Who's that? Oh, that's Who's Alfie, yeah. Uh, it, he's currently thinking, apparently. You don't really want to be disturbed. Yeah. Okay. Apparently he has five as well, though, so... Hmm. He seems tough. Yeah. I'm guessing neither of you two have dueled him, then? Nope. nope. His deck is unknown to me. Uh, I would be careful if I was you if you end up dueling him. Uh, I don't like it when you, you say that. Last time you said that, I fought True Kings. Attention, uh. all duelists. Okay. Huh? Please make your uh, way to the upper courtyard. Okay, so I gotta think go up here. we should head up. Um, yeah. Uh, I think it's about to start. There he is, the man himself. Ah, uh, it's Gramps. Right. Uh, so, three, two, one. Hello, finalists. You four have been chosen to be... Okay, I'm going to restart that. <laughs> okay. Welcome, finalists. You four have managed to achieve something no one else in this tournament has before. Five whole star chips. I'm sure you went through many a duels to get them. However, only two more stand between you and your prizes. So, the matchups for these final rounds shall be... Harvey, a.k.a. True Kings, will be facing against Robert, the master of the Preda plants. And on the other hand, Seth a million Pegasus, my own grandson, will be facing the Alfier, the only man in this tournament who's only lost just a couple duels. Let the finals begin. Here he goes. Right, you ready, mate? 
and yeah. Well, still, um, I'll be nice to give you the first move, my good sir. Right. Uh, I will. Ooh, this is an interesting hand. I'll set a card and I will set a monster. Ending my turn there. Okay, draw. I think I'll start my turn by sending now the lone fire bomb using the effect. By sending it to the graveyard, I can summon any any type of monster from my deck. Oh. I'll use my own possessed. This ain't gonna do much right now, but you know. Okay. Anyways, I think I'll bring out you know what one that we bring out here since we don't want to use it much? The cactus spider. Right. Now I'll set this card down. Now cactus spider. So oh, we'll destroy his face down monster. There goes my liner. I'll get my okay. unpossessed effect though. This will allow me to special summon my Let's go with Win the Wind Channeler. Okay. Well since I destroy a monster with Cactus Fighter, he gives you a token. Okay. What does that token do exactly? Nothing really, it's just there. Right. Well, I'm gonna set a card and I'm gonna use my Letho Stag the Disastrum. Using your very nice special token, along with my dark in hand, I can call forth it itself. And Hello. now I get my unpossessed effect. Letting me special summon my Heat of the Fire Channeler. This is not looking for me. Okay, no, it's not. Right, well, Win will destroy your cactus. Okay, cactus has more attack points. No, it doesn't. Why did that not work? Okay. Normally, what that's meant to do is boost my monster by 800, because it's a charmer. I think I got the battle phases wrong, though. Anyways, I well, want anyway. spider. Go scrap Iron Scarecrow. Okay, well, I'll let my turn there. Okay, I'll draw. Ooh, this is a good card. Put it for later. Um, but I'm gonna summon out my... Actually, yeah, let's try this. I'm gonna summon out my copy point. And right. This is effect to, cop to gain the level of the monster, the copy of my monster's level. Hmm. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to, then I'll have a monster of horn to bring back my lone fire. Okay. Now what? Then. Uh. I'm gonna use its effect to send itself to the graveyard. And summon out my Scorpio. And you did effect with it, to... I can send. Okay, you can send something. I will send my C to the graveyard. And summon right. out my lizard from my deck. It's a part one. And what's that lizard going to do? You're about to see. I can now use the effect of fusion summon any uh, fusion monster I want by using, if I use a polymerization. You know, it really doesn't sound like you know your card's effects. I do. Are you sure? Yep. Anyway, I fused my lizard with the spino in my hand for my chimera. Right, and what does that chimera do then? Uh, it lets me use its effect and let me banish one of your monk, your wing witch. Oh. Then, I think, yeah, I'm going to tune my copy plant with my Scorpio to summon out my Black Rose Dragon. Oh, a Synchro, okay. Going to use this effect, or? Yes, I can, but I'm not going to do that, actually. Oh, why not? Um, I kind of like my field. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to do a lot more damage if you did, but you know. Anyways, I'll have Chimera attack your the true king. 
Oh no, there goes my Liso stack. Now it's effect. It gains a thousand. It takes Blazing away a thousand Mirror gains. Force. Wait, what? Okay. That's my good. As I said, you really should have used your Black Crows. Yeah, I was in my there. Right was my move. Well, on your standby phase, Chimera's effect activates as it was sent to the graveyard. That lets me have Polly to my hand. Okay. Well, I'm going to activate my heritage. Okay. And I'm going to use its effect. Letting me normal summon my Thazama by tributing my Channeler plus my Letho stack. Now I can use my heritage. Let me draw a card. Oh. Ooh, that's a very strong card. Okay, well, I will now attack you with my Behemoth. Or Baharatos. I have scrapped my Scarecrow. Oh no, I end my turn. Whatever will I do? I draw. I set a monster in my turn. Wow. Right. I was not expecting you to do that little. Well, I'm going to set a card and I will use my partnerships. This will let me bring to my field my channeler. And I get to destroy my... Let's get rid of my heritage. Meaning I can now destroy that scrap iron. Oh, man. And I'll move my Barahatos into defense as my heater, the fire channeler, will destroy your face down. It was Lord of the Poison. And when it's destroyed, I can summon any plant type monster from the graveyard. Right. And that's going to be my time. Okay, I'll end my turn. Are you wrong? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna set a nut for monster face on defense mode. Go to battle. I'm gonna have Chimeras attack your monster. It uses effect to take a thousand of the attack points for itself. I'll activate my true king apocalypse. <laughs> Letting me destroy my Baharatos. Uh, it weaken your monster. I then get my unpossessed along with my Baharatos. Meaning I can now bring to my field something very powerful. For example, Dryheth III, the true Draco Valley General. And I can special summon to my field my familiar... No, actually, also the Earth Channeler. So, what you gonna do when they're cruising through? I'll have to the Channeler. Can I use the effect again? Or the monster turn? Monster turn. Okay. I thought you knew what your cards did. Hey. I I end my turn. Okay. Well. No, you can do well, something during the stun my face. Again. Right. Now then, how about I normal summon my, fi my familiar possessed heater? Now I can use from my deck. My... Awakening of the Possessed, Greater Inari Fire. Using my Heat of the Fire channel plus my Familiar Possessed Heater, I can call on my Inari Fire. Oh. Now, Inari Fire, destroy the face down. That's not happening. And Apocalypse, destroy Draco Valley General. Oh. <laughs> Meaning I can now bring to my field my Familiar Possessed Win. Bye bye life points. <laughs> bye bye a bit more life points. I get something good here. I'll let my turn there. I draw. So I I am my turn and that is I draw. I'm going to use from my deck. My uh, Ranryu, bringing itself to my field. And now I'll tribute my... Hmm. Let's get rid of my Apocalypse to call forth my Majesty Maiden. 
using the apocalypse to destroy my greater Inari fire, which then gives me both my unpossessed along with my greater Inari fire's effects. Inari fire will add to my hand my awakening, while my unpossessed will call to my third my also. Oh, no. And I'll use it, boosting all my monsters by 600. Finally finishing you off with my Majesty Maiden game. Right. Well, uh, I'm going to have to go prepare for my next match. Uh, yeah, I mean, good luck, mate. Uh, hopefully they don't immediately kick you off the island. Better luck next time. Peace. Yeah. Right. And, uh, did, 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 uh, excuse me, Pegasus. Uh, oh. Oh, Harvey. I've actually been working on this for you. Enjoy. And good luck. Cheers, mate. True king of all calamities, eh? I have to do some reading up on this. Right. Let's see what this new card can do. Uh, uh, excuse me. Oh, hello. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, I was changing these whole lights. Uh, oh. Yeah, no, no, no. Why am I interrupting something? Uh, the the finals are about to happen. Against that kid? Yeah. Oh, it's you with the Arthur. <laughs> hey, been a while. Yeah, it has. Sorry. Sorry, I'm not exactly from here, so I'm not used to the customs. Just let me fix these lights. How long are you going to take? Can you give us an ETA? What's an ETA? Uh, like an estimated time, you know? Like, roughly, how long do you think? Okay. Well, considering how long these lights took compared to the other ones, well, also because... Considering how long it takes to actually set up the ladder and the also. Um, I finished 10 minutes ago. I'm just trying to extend my time so I get more money for the initiative. Ah. Do you mind if holograms are projecting through you? Did any of you run Dark Magician Guard? No. I run Charmers. Nope. Okay. No. Right, let's do this. You, you two do your thing. I'm gonna go get some Venus kisses. Enjoy, mate. Ready, Alfia? I'm ready. Well, let's duel. All right, then. I will take the first move. Right. Does anybody want some snacks or anything? Uh. You got popcorn in there. I'll take some popcorn. I can go for some beer links. <laughs> Some what? Gator Lakes. Gator Lakes? I yeah, thought you, you know, liked alligators. reptiles. I do. They also taste good. <laughs> you know what? I'm getting you a Venus schnitzel. I'll be right back. Well, I'm going to start things off with a continuous spell. Octoetic Serpent Strike. Right. And now I will activate from my hands. Now ya. I will send a, it to the graveyard in order to send to the graveyard a light reptile. Right. I will send away. For now. No, no. I will set a card face down and end my turn. Okay, my move. I draw. I'm going to activate my Draco Phoenix. I will then set three cards. And I will tribute my good old Draco Phoenix for my Ignis Heart. Using my Disciples, I can then destroy your Serpent Strike. Aww. Oh, yeah, I know. Right. Well, I will then move to the battle phase and strike you directly. Alrighty then. Ow. And that will be my turn. Let's see what you got. Uh oh. And you're in the face. I'm going to bring out the embodiment of Apophis. I will use my Ignis Heat 
allowing me to add to my hand or to the field my heritage and I'll activate it to the field. I will continue to my end phase. Let's see what you I got. Draw. I summon out Flogos. Y'all right. go out of bound place. Right. Anything hmm. else or Yes. I that's overlay is... them both. Okay. I'm gonna overlay them both in order, in order to like sea summon. The king of the feral imps. So you turned some snakes into an imp. Well, this imp, by using an overlay material, is going to let me add to my hand a reptile monster. <laughs> I'll get my Ignis Heat and my return along with my Unpossessed. Meaning I get to activate onto my field my Disciples. Well, I will add to my hand. Yeah. And guard the Underground Emperor. That's interesting. Never seen a Vanguard. I will now. Hmm. Will this work? Will what work? I will now use Flogos. I will discard Five. my Vanguard to add it to my hand. Ooh, okay. Oh. That doesn't work. Oh well. Why? Does your Vanguard have an effect of some sorts? It does, but for now, I'm supposed to. I will have to just let it be and end my turn. Okay. Well, that's my move, and I'm going to. Uh, okay, I can't use you just now. So I'm just going to attack with my Ignis Heat. Bye bye, your imp. Bit of light damage. Hello, my turn now. Let's see what you got. I will draw. Oh, this is actually perfect. I activate from my hand. No, yeah. I get to add a, a true Draco uh, spell card to my hand. For example, my heritage. So. And now I sense to the graveyard. Curse. And now because a monster was sent from my hand to the graveyard, my Ven card rises from the grave. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now what? Now, I will summon out Flogos. Okay. Anything else? And activate Ogdoetic Daybreak, the tribute to bring out two tokens. Right. You're going to tribute those tokens, I'm guessing? Or you already normal summon this turn? I am actually going to use Curse from the Graveyard to tribute a token to bring itself out. Ooh, okay. And with its effect, I get to special summon um, one of my monsters from the Graveyard. Ooh, okay, okay. What are you gonna do with that monster then? I'm gonna bring out Naoya. Right. Who will let me add to my hand an Ogdoetic spell or trap card? Okay. I want my field spell, the Ogdoetic Origin. Right. Anything else? I'm just going to. You're just going to? Right. Well, play by my Ignis Heat. I will get my Unpossessed effect, allowing me to special summon straight to my field, my uh, Win the Wind Channeler. And that'll be all for now. Right. I'll use my True King's Return to bring back my Ignis Heat during your end phase. I forgot about that. Oh yeah. Now I get to activate my Diagram. Now then, I'm going to use Diagram, letting me destroy the heritage in my hand. 
Meaning I can add to my hand my... Uh, which one of you lets me add a... That's going to do a trap. You want your other monsters. Okay. I'll add my general. Meaning I can then tribute my Ignis Heat on the field to bring out my general. Meaning now when I use my heritage on the field, I can draw two cards. Or one, apparently. Right. Well, uh, I will now use my uh, Phoenix in order to shuffle three and draw one. I so. forgot. This is also like something I forgot about is your recycling. Oh, yeah. Right. I'm now going to use Possessed Partnerships. This will allow me to bring to my field my Heat of the Fire and a Channeler. And I get, then get to destroy one face-up card on the field. For example, that Emperor of yours. Well, to the because deck with you got you. rid of the spell card, my field spell goes off, and I will be sending back that field spell of yours. All sending it to the grave. <laughs> and it's not destroyed, it's just sent. <laughs> That's fine by me. I'm going to use my Awakening of the Possessed. Boosting all my monsters. Now I'm going to use my Merry Me. Letting me destroy my Orsa along with my win. That did not go as I hoped it would. Anyway. Uh, I will then move to my battle phase. Meaning my general can destroy that... Kerus? Uh, Kerus? Whatever Karus. that thing was. Win will destroy that one. There goes the token. And Heater will destroy the last one. Well, and, because I brought it back, it gets banished. And I'm going to end my turn there. I, I brought draw. back the food. Hey. You wanted caramel in your popcorn, right? No. Oh, don't I worry, wanted, I ate it all anyway. I, I wanted Wiener Schnitzel popcorn. But that's from my secret stash. You have a okay, secret I'll snash? Go. Yeah, of course. Doesn't everyone? We only got here like a week ago. Maybe two. Uh, I've lost track. I've been here for like four years. What? Well, what do uh, you do here? Eat Venus Tinsel, play card games, find Rainbow Dragon. I'm I sorry, what? what? Uh, don't worry about it. You'll learn about it next season. Anyway, just carry on with your duels. Um, okay, well, I'm going to activate Core of Chaos. Banish right. from the graveyard, you king of the feral imps. Uh, I'm going to use my true king's return. Bringing to my field my Mary. Letting me tribute my general. Actually, it will tribute Heater and win. Uh, yikes. Yeah. Well, uh, I now summon out Zoha. Right. And now, I'm going to have my core tune with Zoha. The synchro Ooh. summon the Chaos Beast. Okay. And well, now Zoha that. will activate. Oh, you draw I a guess card, well. I get to add a log wag to my hand, and we both discard. Ha, huh, I wonder what we'll be discarding. Gee, I wonder. Anyways, I'm going to add to my hand Aaron the Ogdewanic King. Right. Now what? Hmm. Else? I will activate Chaos Beast, adding to my hands my new alien that's banished. Right. Anything now, else? No. This is unfortunate. I you can't can, beat over that. I mean, you can destroy my general. I could. Well, right now I'll use Naoya to send to the graveyard. Yeah. Um. 
Another new new. <laughs> I... And Chaos Beast will attack the general because that's all they can attack. Well, bye bye, general. I will get his effect along with my unpossessed stuff. My unpossessed bringing to my field a uh, charmer. For example, my. Let's go with. Uh, familiar possessed area. And my general will special summon to my field. Letho stack. Then I get my awakening effect to draw a card. Yikes. What do you mean, yikes? So, what are you going to do? You ending your turn, or...? I will use Idoetic Daybreak to put King of the Feral Imps back into my extra deck. I'll use my return to bring back my general. And now, I can send Reptile Monster to the graveyard. Right. I will send away... Vanguard of the Underground Emperor. Right. And that's all I can do. Okay. Well, I will... Ooh, what to do? I think I'm going to move my general to attack mode along with my Letho stack. I am then going to tribute my area to bring out my Awakening of the Possessed Ran, uh, Ran Senryu. Now, I'm going to Xyz summon a new monster Pegasus gave me yesterday. True king oh, of all calamities. Uh, oh gosh, what is that? Now I'm going to use his effect. Detaching my Letho stack. Targeting Dark. I'll then use my return to bring back Letho stack. And I'll end my turn. I will draw. Go for it. Um, I will use my Chaos Beast's effect to add to my Hand Core of Chaos. Right. And now I will... And you will... I will use Core of Chaos. Yes. Vanish from the graveyard. No, yeah. I'm going to use my Calamities, detaching my uh, Marie, in order to target Dark once more. I'll then use my return to bring back Marie. So. And I can't. Why well, can't I cross something? Uh, well, I would presume that is due to my Calamities. Uh, you know, no. Oh, yeah. Wait, did you require a light and a dark? Yes, I did. Aw, oh, it's such a shame. It's also a shame you can't attack with those monsters or use their effects. Hmm. What I can do, though, for, even though it's not going to do much, is I can use... Uh, yeah, that's all I really can do. Crap. I'm gonna use Curse to tribute my core to bring it out in defense mode. Okay. And I can't use its effect. So what are you gonna do? Oh, I, I can't even attack. Correct, because you're a dark monster. Uh, so. You can't do that anymore, so. What are you going to do? I activate Flow Ghost from the graveyard. 
discarding Black Mamba to add to my hand. Right. This then lets you bring back my Vanguard. Okay. Building out a board so I can't kill you. Smart. What's your game plan and for after that? I can't exceed summon anything because I can only synchro summon. Oh, such a shame. So for now, I just end my turn. Right, my move. Mamma and Letho stack to attack mode, and I'm going to Xyz summon using my Marie and my Letho stack to bring out Jormungandr. I'm now going to use its effect, detaching my Mare, Marie, in order to... We both draw. Now we both must attach a card from either our hands or the field to my Jormungandr. I will attach my... Uh... Awakening. I will attach Vanguard. I will use one day of peace. We both draw a card, neither of us take battle damage until my next turn. Now then, I am going to use my True King's Return to bring back my memory. And now I will tribute my memory in order to bring out my Awakening of the Possessed. Now I'll move to the battle phase. Calamities will destroy your beast. Luckily I don't take damage. Your Munganda will destroy your curse. Well, because you gotta get rid of the reptile, my origin goes off again. Right. And now I what to choose. What to choose indeed. So, I what will, will you choose? I will choose the Jormungandr. Oh, okay. Well, I'm now going to use my Possessed Partnerships, placing my Awakening back on the field. And now everything's powerful again. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you can get rid of Awakening and just destroy one of my monsters then I'll do something oh well, let's try this out I will use chaos beast I banish from my hand the shell of chaos right and on top of that I will also be banishing from the graveyard no no in order to okay. summon it that's fine by me and now I will use its effects to add to my hand core of chaos All right now, Core of Chaos will banish Black Bomba to bring it out. Okay. And I will now also bring back... Lachelle and Core are quite the pair. Right. Uh, I'm going to use my True King's Return, allowing me to bring back my Letho stack. Now, it's not going to have much attack points, and I can only Synchro Summon. So, even though it has no defense points, it's better off with that way. But, now I can do this. I will tune my Core of Chaos with the Chaos Beast to bring out the all my, the ma the all mad Chaos Archfiend. Right. That is one big monster. So, whenever there's a card that's banished for the turn. He gains 2,000 attack points for the rest of the turn. <laughs> only if it was banished that turn, or? Yes, only during the turn. Okay. Well. And here's the double kicker. Not only no. can he attack all of your monsters, all monsters that he destroys gets banished. Oh, okay. Get rid of the calamities. And next... The possessed friend Ryu. Right. Next. Too arch. bad I'm not taking damage for this though. It is a shame. Next, I'll get rid of the Lathos Stagum. Yeah. And then lastly, I'm gonna get rid of that general. 
Right. And with that, I end my turn. Okay, my move. I draw. Ooh, okay. I'm going to use my True King's Return to bring back my Marie. Now, I'm going to use my Heritage to allow me to bring out my Draco Fighter by tributing my Marie. And I will then Normal Summon my Win. Okay, I'm now going to use my Heritage allow me to draw another card. And I'll use my Phoenix to allow me to tribute my I'm going to tribute my win to bring out my Ignis Seat. And now I'm going to move to the battle phase. Draco Fighter, destroy the Archfiend. Well, because you got were the one to get rid of it, its effect will activate. Let me bring out from my extra deck. Right. My Chaos Goddess. I will destroy the Chaos Goddess. Now. And that will be my turn. I will draw. Right. And what did you draw? Uh, it's rather interesting, actually. Oh, you tell. What I got was another new new, which gives me more material for chaos. Well, that's not the kicker of it, though. Something right. There. Um, I'm going to use my Dino Mist and my Return to bring back Murray. My Dino Mist will also let me add my Apocalypse to my hand. What are you going to do? I will send to the graveyard. I wonder if it's already in there. It is. So, I'll be sending to the, gra uh, the graveyard my queen. Ooh. And now my vanguard rises again. I'll get my Ignis Heats effect, letting me add to my hand my heritage. So, it's Battle of the Titans. It is. But I have something planned. Right. That is, if I can. I can. I will now banish from the graveyard my Chaos Archfiend, as well as Nunu, to bring out the Chaos Creator. Ooh, okay. And I will use it to target Chaos Archfiend, Nunu, and Black Mamba. I get to bring back my Chaos Arch Fate and return the others to my deck. Okay. Are you going to attack all my monsters? I will. After I bring back my Amnesia Queen by tributing Vanguard, my Vanguard and Shell of Chaos. Okay. Let's see what you got. Now, Chaos Arts Fiend attacking this. And without DFPs, you take damage again. And every attack weakens my monsters. Now attack the Dynamite. Should have maybe attacked Marie first, but you know. Well, I could have, but now she's gone as well. And I still live another turn. And now will attack directly. Oh, my move. 
I'm going to normal summon my Majesty Maiden by tributing my heritage. I will then get heritage's effect to destroy your field spell. Well, because he did that, my field spell will burn your deck for every different Ogden Wag name in my graveyard. I'm going to use my Maiden's effect, letting me, before you do that, add to my hand my general. That's a lot of monsters. And because the card was sent to the graveyard by card effect, that means he's double activates, letting me special summon from the graveyard Aaron the Ogdoetic King. Right. Well, I will activate my heritage. And now I'm going to use my Phoenix, letting me tribute my return to bring out my general. Return will then let me destroy that Archfiend of yours. I think. I then set a card, and I will go to the battle phase. Majesty Maiden will attack into your queen. Your Majesty. That's my turn. I will draw. What are you gonna do when the crew's in through? What I'm going to do is hopefully end the duel here. Oh. I use Chaos Beast to banish Chaos Archfiend once more. As well as Flogos. Okay. I'll get my Maiden's effect along with my trap card. I Apocalypse. I'll now use my Apocalypse, letting me destroy my General. And then I can add to my hand my... Let's add my Vanisher. Now, Aaron will activate. Ice, both of its effects will activate. I'll get my Unpossessed along with my General. So, my General allows me to special summon my Fathoma, while my Unpossessed allows me to bring out my Liner. Well, my Aaron will first let me add to my hand Evil Dragon Anata. Okay. There goes my vanisher. Now, with Chaos Creator, we'll bring back once again Chaos Arts Fiend and return back to the deck. New New and Flow Ghost. Okay. So anything else? Alfia. I will now use Zoha to discard Chaos Space. Right. Add to my hand. And then activate Chaos Space. Discarding Zoha. Okay. In order to add to my hand Chaos Valkyria. Right. You know you have game, right? I do. Just checking. I just want to be able to bring out Evil Dragon Anata for the first time. Okay. Some juicy attack points. You're right, it is some juicy attack points. Every reptile that gets banished by banishing all of them from the graveyard and on the field that are reptiles, they gain 600 attack points. Right. Now, Chaos Arch Fiends, attack Majesty Maiden. I gain, should have attacked the defense mode first. That's what I'm going to do now. And then you're going to finish me with your new evil dragon snake thing. Only poetic that I finish it with a reptile. That's game. Good game. Oh, boy. Yeah, good game, Harv. Aye. Hey, do any of you two have an Allen wrench? Uh, not on me. Uh, do you? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, which one are you two on? I was kind of focused on this. 
Uh, he did. Uh, I did. Ah. Uh, you sure? Yes. You don't seem too confident. Well, I mean, I got rid of all his life points through a quite the hard-fought duel, though. It got, your deck is powerful. Hey, so is yours, mate. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure you need to go and collect your prize, or there are any other, like, part of this tournament I don't know about, like... Um, I mean, I know first place gets the choice, like, second place, I'm pretty sure you have the choice between the money prize and the wish prize. I mean, first place gets both, right? Last I recall. <laughs> right. I'm picking the money. <laughs> what are you wishing for? Um, that's a good question. I could probably do with some some cards, probably some special made cards. Ooh, good choice, good choice. Anyway, you might want to go speak to uh, yeah, Mr. Max. Probably gonna want to head up to Pegasus. Yeah, I've got I've got to go pack my bags first, though. Apparently, my the boat that's taking me out is leaving tonight. So, yeah. Uh, well, you may want to rush then. Oh yeah. Well, uh, have a good rest of your day. Hopefully, your boat doesn't leave tonight as well.